Volkswagen Dynamic Hub Caps. That's one of the dozen odd new accessories that you can put on to this, the new Tiguan. Out goes TDI power, in comes TSI power, 2 litre turbo petrol engine, 187 bhp, 320 newton meters of torque, gets made it to a 7 speed DSG twin clutch automatic gearbox and all wheel drive with the rough road mode. Priced at 31.99 lakh rupees, does it pose a worthy rival to the likes of the Hyundai Tucson, Citroen C5 Aircross, and the Jeep Compass? That's what you're going to find out in this first drive review. But before that, remember to give us a thumbs up, hit the bell icon to stay notified for all our videos, and please don't forget to subscribe to the Evo India channel and stay notified for all our video drops. <laughs> What's new visually on the new Tiguan? So the grille, that's new. You get more chrome on the grille because everybody wants to be in your face. You get the new Volkswagen roundel. The headlamps, these are new. It gets a new LED DRL signature. You get the IQ light, which is sort of an intelligent light that changes the intensity of the light depending on ambient light conditions. Plus, it has a cornering function, which is actually very useful when driving in the hills in the night. Also, the bumper is new more chrome on it, more in your face. Now, over on the side, 18 inch alloy wheels retain, but in a new design. This chrome bits, I think these are accessories and I wouldn't put it on the car. The running boards are also another accessory. Again, that's not something that you should put on if you plan to go off-roading because it reduces the ground clearance. The wheelbase, actually the whole platform is the same, but the wheelbase in the specs, it is 2mm more than the earlier Tiguan. I don't know how that variation has happened, but basically this is the same 5 seater Tiguan that we had in the past that has been updated. The roof box, that is another accessory, but that reminds you that these roof rails, they are strong. They can take a proper load. Over at the rear, the tail lamp housing, that has been retained, but the LED graphic has been changed, so that looks quite cool. You get the new VW roundel, Tiguan written on the center of the bootlet so that in case you don't know what passed you by, because this Tiguan has enough power to pass almost everything on the road, Tiguan written right and prominent out there. You get this cuff plate for the bumper so you don't damage or scratch the bumper when you're loading heavy objects into it. You get more chrome on the rear bumper and that's about it. It is evolution rather than revolution, but it looks typically like a Volkswagen. Meaty, nice sharp creases. I think it looks very stylish, very attractive, very muscular. The dashboard architecture, the entire cabin in fact has been retained over the earlier Tiguan. So this is very familiar, but there are a few detail changes. The first thing that you notice is the new steering wheel. It is a flat bottom steering wheel, also has the new lighter VW roundel. You get a digital cockpit. We saw that first on the Tiguan Allspace. Now it's also there on the five-seater. The infotainment, the size is the same, but it has a little new functions. For instance, it has gesture control which works sometimes, but it has gesture control. It has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, but it is not wireless and there is no wireless charger, but it has USB-C ports, not USB-A ports anymore. The climate control panel has changed. It is this touchscreen panel. The design of the DSG gear lever, that has changed. It retains that off-road modes. So that mode dial, that remains unchanged. It still gets the panoramic sunroof, Though, if you're putting a roof box, I don't know why you would spend on the panoramic sunroof, but it is there. There's a lot more accessories out here, coat hanger, a tablet holder, all of that are accessories that you can put on to the Tiguan. But the Tiguan, it remains a comfortable place to be in. The seats are nice and wide and supportive. Electric seats for the driver. Overall, great visibility, a nice driving environment and a very smooth petrol engine. It gets auto start stop now. It just kicked in. Didn't even notice it, didn't even hear it. That is the highlight of the Tiguan. So let's get on the road. I spent plenty of time in the Tiguan. We had two Tiguans on long-term test. The first one, we took it to Sandapku, which is up in the Eastern Himalayas, the land of Land Rovers, as they called it. We took the Polo as well as the Tiguan all the way up there and we drove the Tiguan from Pune all the way to Darjeeling and then upwards to Sandapku and then back to Pune. Then we took our second long-term Tiguan and we drove it from Pune to Ladakh 
we did the Shinkula Pass. That was when the Shinkula Pass wasn't properly paved. So when it was full of snow, that was two years ago. We took it all the way up to Shinkula Pass and then drove it back to Pune. Spent a lot of time commuting in the Tiguan. Lot of Pune Goa drives, Pune Mumbai drives, all over the place. So I've spent tons and tons of time in the Tiguan, and I can tell you that this new Tiguan it feels familiarly solid. It's a joy to be back in the Tiguan. To be honest, obviously things have improved. So you now have this digital cluster, which actually is very nicely styled. You have this new steering wheel with the flat bottom. Feels nice to hold. If I remember right, even the old Tiguan felt really nice to hold, but this is slightly smaller in terms of diameter, so it feels a little nicer. The seats wide, supportive, exactly like how it was in the past, and exactly how I would want it to be. No change out there, and that's a good thing. The gear lever, the design is new. This is the new design for the DSG gear lever across all Volkswagen cars. I think it feels very nice to the hand, though the earlier one looked a little nicer. But then it's just a matter of getting used to. But the main difference is the enthusiasm with which this Tiguan now moves down the road. The earlier TDI that was no slouch, mind. It was quick. It was extremely efficient. It was refined. But this new engine with 187 bhp, 320 newton meters of torque, it really does move. You put your foot down. There's an immediate urgency to it. The DSG gearbox, obviously, the shifts are snappy. It is quick. It is responsive, and the eagerness with which the Tiguan now moves down the road, it is a step up over the earlier TDI Tiguan. One tap, two tap. Use the steering wheel paddles, and it really does move. Moves really well, really nicely. And it's such a refined and smooth engine. Barely any noise. In fact, there's more noise coming from the roof box because of the wind roar than anything else. That's the only thing that you can hear in the car. When you put your foot down, it does get a nice sporty note to it. So nice. The Tiguan was always easy to drive, and this becomes even easier with the petrol engine. The smoothness, the refinement, all of that just adds to the charm of this Tiguan. And the other reason why I love the Tiguan was the urgency with which it went round a windy road. The handling, the tightly controlled body movements, the sense of safety and security that it gave you, the way it would not get ruffled by mid-corner bumps. All of that just goes up a slight notch, and that's thanks to the engine being a little lighter than the TDI engine. Lightness equals better responsiveness, better agility, and it is all evident on this updated Tiguan. It's not like the old Tiguan was really desperately crying out for an update. In fact, the only thing that I remember talking about was a little better performance from the engine would have been nice. And now you have it here. You have more performance. With this TSI engine, of course, it doesn't have the running costs of that TDI, but then it is what it is. Now all Volkswagen Group cars are petrol, so that's that. But the efficiency is not frightful or anything. It's showing around nine and a half kmph, and we are gaining it. We are shooting it, so it's not like we're driving at 80 kilometers per hour on a steady highway. So it can't get any worse than this, which is very nice. Really can go around corners. So anyway, a lot of the stuff that you see on this Tig One are accessories. So the roof box is an accessory. That coat hanger behind my seat, the iPad holder behind the passenger seat, all of those are accessories. There's also a fridge in the boot. I guess this will be a great companion on a long road trip, and that's something that we definitely need to plan out. Just look at the speed it is pulling through these corners. This is an SUV mind, and that's the thing. It's got that Volkswagenness, that solidity, that planted feel with which it just sits on the road, doesn't get disturbed by a bumpy road, doesn't throw it offline, feels safe and planted. Of course, it doesn't feel as dirty as a BMW, but that's never been the remit of a Volkswagen, right? And definitely not for the Tiguan. This one has 
pace it has composure it has stability and it has that long legged feel so behind the driver seat you can do hundreds and hundreds of kilometers every day and not feel tired not in the least and that includes passengers so passengers being ferried in the tiguan you can sit in this all day long and not have a single reason to complain the portable touches they are plenty the door pockets for instance they are huge they are deep 3 1 liter bottles can almost fit over there the space in the center console is massive the space in the underarm storage is massive there's just so much of room to move around in there's lot of headroom there is a huge panoramic sunroof when you come up on speed breakers like that which you haven't seen no problem none of that can slow down the tiguan there is of course the question of pricing 31.99 lakh rupees hmm the more things change the more they remain the same another criticism that i had on the old tiguan was that it had only seat heaters not coolers which really doesn't work in the indian environment unless you're living up in the mountains this one too it has got only seat heaters no seat coolers the highlight of the tiguan has always been the solidity of this suv other suvs were a little faster they were a little sharper in terms of their handling little better equipped all of that but none gave the solidity of the tiguan and now with this new petrol motor nothing is faster than the tiguan and nothing carries more speed round corners than the tiguan this has addressed the few very few shortcomings of the tiguan in the past and that's made for a far better suv with one caveat do i miss the diesel engine well i'd be lying if i said i did not